YouTube friends, it's Sarah here from the German countryside. I hope you all had a very great Easter time. I hope you enjoyed with your family and or friends and that you had good weather. Well, we really enjoyed it. We fortunately had great weather uh, at Easter time. And I said fortunately because only about two weeks before Easter it snowed again here. And although it was only a very short and slight snowfall, my children, of course, they were so excited about it and happy. So they took all their um, warm clothes on and they went outside to, uh, yeah, to enjoy the snow to play and jump and <laughs> just have fun and they of course they dreamed about winter coming back <laughs> but it didn't it just last for um, one or two days and then it already got warmer again that was a big surprise and I was already wondering if we would have to look for the Easter eggs in the snow again but we didn't it was really um, getting really warm um, for some days and now it's already uh, much colder it's around uh, 12 Celsius degrees in Germany we have this saying a proverb that says April, April, der macht was er will. And that means um, as much as April, April, he is doing whatever he wants. Like whatever he wants to do, he's doing. And that shows that, yeah, it's typical for April that the weather is changing from, you know, it can be as if it's summer, and then it can be winter again, <laughs> it can be snow, and then it's raining, and the next hour it's the sun is shining again. It's always a surprise. And then it's in May, it's getting more steady, it's getting more, the spring is getting more stable, and yeah, but April is everything mixed up. <laughs> But as I said, for Easter, April was kind enough to please us with around 20 Celsius degrees, which was pretty much the warmest of this year so far. So we really couldn't, um, yeah, pick it better, better with um, Easter. So we could spend uh, lots of the time outside. The children had holidays, um, so they didn't have to school and to kindergarten for two weeks. And yeah, we didn't have to get up that early, we didn't have a fixed schedule, we just enjoyed sleeping longer and live into the day and make campfires and grill and be with the sheep and goats. And Noah helped his father uh, to dig a hole. <laughs> Uh, because Heiko wants to build a little vaulted cellar. That's uh, a cellar which you build with uh, rocks. So he wants to build that with local rocks and stones. As he already has built uh, all these natural stone walls um, around his meadow and the stairways you can see here. Uh, as well as the stone table and the benches. And yeah, he really likes to work with stones and I think it's great because uh, like the natural stone walls, it's also um, like it's um, it's dry. He, he put it, he built it in a dry way and so there's nothing in between the stones. So many insects and little animals can um, can build their homes and houses in between the, the rocks and uh, yeah so that's very nice for them too we really had a good easter holiday time 
we had good food we had fish for example and we ate it outside on our balcony that's man ein bisschen bisschen lang For Easter we've been to a public Easter event for kids and they were a little bit disappointed because they were supposed to find some eggs there, Easter eggs, but they didn't find a single one so I called Heiko, the father of the kids, and he quickly bought some eggs and hided them on a playground in the forest. So they started collecting their first treasures even one day before Easter Sunday. For Easter Sunday we boiled and colored eggs and these little eggs you can see here are quail eggs that a friend of us gave us um, and he has quails and these eggs are um, from the chicken of Heiko so on Easter Sunday the big egg seeking started and the Easter Bunny had been really diligent on Heiko's meadow like I think they have enough sweets now for until Christmas time or so. And then the next day on Easter Monday my kids and I visited my parents in the neighborhood in the house where I grew up as well and it was a big getting together of the family like there was my younger sister with her husband and their three children uh, there have been two children of my elder sister there have been two of my brothers and one of them just came back from Australia so it was really nice and the children enjoyed as you can see there's a big trampoline there's a slide and they never get bored there it's really wonderful And 
and my sister hide some presents for my children, which they were allowed to um, seek. Oi, zeig mal! Wow, toll! Weißt du, was das ist? Das sind Kissenbezüge. Das ist ein Wandbehang aus Indien. Ja, aus Indien. Den hat die Christina bestimmt mal aus Indien mitgebracht. Ja? So, this is how we celebrated Easter. And now I'm very curious how you celebrate Easter um, where you live. Uh, is it similar? Do you also, you know, have this tradition with coloring eggs and hide them and let the children search for them? Or do you have other traditions? Do you um, celebrate Easter at all? Or maybe you you don't celebrate it. Uh, I'm really curious about it, so um, just write it in the comments. So one more thing I want to say about Easter is that for us uh, Easter is not only a time to you know enjoy and um, have fun with your family and friends, but it's also um, a time of going within and thinking about what's really the reason why um, we, like the Christian culture, uh, celebrates Easter. And we did or we do thematize um, this, uh, you know, Christian background, um, but I don't want to, you know, push away all the old traditions. Like, I told my children that Easter is originally a um, holiday that is pagan, that comes from our ancestors uh, of the pre-Christian time. Like Easter in German is called Ostern, for example. And uh, Ostern comes from the word Ostara. Ostara was the Uh, goddess of fertility, the Germanic goddess of fertility, and it was a tradition that um, people brought eggs because in that time there are so many eggs. We have um, chicken ourselves, and we know that you know they there are so many eggs in that time, so probably <laughs> they just started to um, give each other eggs and to the children because they had so many, anyway. So They also brought eggs as an offering for the goddess of fertility and that's where this tradition comes from. And so there are some Christians uh, that, who don't, um, you know, uh, support that tradition and don't practice it anymore because they say it doesn't have any to do anything with gr the Christian belief. And that's true, but I think um, it's You know, our ancestors celebrated it that way for hundreds and maybe thousands of years, so I don't see any reason why to neglect or condemn these traditions. But we are Christian and we do believe in one God and we do believe in the sacrifice of Jesus and the resurrection and <clears throat> I do thematize it with the children as well and this is definitely the main thing that we in our family celebrate uh, at least the adults oh there was a little bird <laughs> as I said um, I personally also respect our pre-christian traditions 
um, at least to some point as they are also part of our culture and our history and I don't see any need to um, condemn or demonize it or you know, whatever as well as I don't see any need for others to um, you know uh, laugh about other beliefs like Christianity or whatever I'm always more for connecting with each other and understanding each other or at least trying to understand each other instead of promoting separation and ignorance and arrogance you know towards things that we don't know or that we just don't understand or that might sound strange to us you know I think one of the most um, one of the biggest reasons why uh, it came to to wars and all kind of misunderstandings and struggle in, in human history is because of that arrogance of thinking that um, one or you know the other is something better and something and knows the truth and instead of just looking at the others and trying to learn something from them, trying to understand something from them, trying to see the beauty in the difference and trying to see what um, yeah what we can learn because if we if we don't do that if we close up ourselves and if we say uh, we you know that's stupid and if we have that arrogance you know that we are so much um, more knowing and so much better and higher educated and whatever uh, we um, refuse in a way to to learn we refuse to learn and we refuse to grow together in 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 wisdom in and in knowledge and that's a pity <laughs> because i think there's so much potential to learn from each other and yeah i think <laughs> i've talked enough um, yeah, I, that's a big uh, topic. I don't want to go too much into detail, but I think that's uh, good closing words for this vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share a bit about what we did during um, the Easter days and I really hope that you had great Easter time too and um, yeah so if you liked my video I would be really really happy if you show it with a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure to do so because it's free and you will um, get to know when I will upload a new video when you um, press the little clock beside okay so enough advertisement <laughs> for my channel I hope you have a good time and see you next time. Bye bye. Frohe